Once again, I welcome you to the news lesson. We are also going to learn about different things in news. But for, before we begin the lesson, we first begin with the rhyme, which says, and we are not going to recite this rhyme when we are seated home, just they are stand up and we do the actions, then we shall sit down later. Okay, it, is, it goes like this. I have a little cosa in my little chesa. Every time I cosa, <coughs> that's my little cosa. Once more, I have a little cosa in my little chesa. Every time I cosa, <coughs> that's my little cosa. So you can sit down and we begin our lesson. Now, in this lesson, we shall first remind ourselves about the things that we learned previously. First of all, we talked about the types of houses. Can one person remind us with the types of houses? So, good. We said the first type of houses, we said temporary, temporary houses. So, this was the first type of houses. Then the second type of houses was permanent houses. Permanent houses. So these are the two types of houses. As we say that they are two. But we talked about the temporary houses as the first type. And we say, what are temporary houses? Temporary houses are houses built with weak materials. And I, I told you that the materials that we use to build temporary houses are easily got. And I remember, I told you that these building materials we use to build temporary houses, they are very weak, they are not strong at all. And we said, you can even get one and you break them into two parts. So those are materials that we use to build temporary houses. And in other words, we also said temporary houses are houses, are houses built using uh, which do not last for so long. So this material, this, uh, uh, these uh, temporary houses do not last for so long. They take just a short time. You can, yourself, you can even destroy them. Now, we talked about the examples of temporary houses. So, we talked about a hat, all hats. We also talked about muddy houses or muddy hats. And we said uh, hats and muddy houses are commonly, they are commonly found in villages. They are commonly found in villages. When you go in the village to look at your grandma, you, there you can get those small, small houses there. She stays there and she enjoys the life there in the village. So, huts and mud houses are commonly found in villages. Now, we also talked about the youth pots. We also talked about the youth pots. These youth pots are mainly found 
at the police station. And as I told you that some of our parents, they work with the police station. So we, you can find them there in the uniforms. And some of you also sleep there. And as, as, as for now, I'm talking when you are seated in a uniport, I can look at you. So that house can be carried to another place. You can carry it and you take it to a different place where you want to place it. So, we also talked about tents. These tents here, you can put it there for today. And the, when the function is done, you can remove it and you take it to keep. So, that is a tent. That's why we say these, uh, these temporary houses do not last for so long. Now, today we are going to also look at another type. And that is permanent houses. That is permanent houses. So let us look at Permanent, 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 sorry for the spelling, permanent houses. So we have what we call permanent houses. Now, with the permanent houses, we are also going to look at them. And we know what they, what they mean. So, our question is, what are permanent houses? What are permanent houses? So our question is, what are permanent houses? So our answer is, permanent houses are houses built using strong materials. Strong means that you cannot even shake it, you cannot even break it, you cannot even remove it. And at times they are difficult to destroy them because they are very strong. These are permanent houses. So those materials are very permanent. So we say permanent houses. We say permanent houses are houses. Uh, Manet houses, houses are houses, are houses built with strong, with strong material. So, we say, let us first read it, permanent houses are houses built with strong materials. As I've said, these ones you cannot even destroy them, you cannot even spoil them, because these materials are very strong. Now, we also have another alternative. Like the temporary houses also had it too. Even the permanent houses has got it too. Now, in other words, if you don't want to use this answer, you can use the second answer that I'm going to put here, which says permanent houses are houses which last for so long. These ones, they take a lot of time. No, like this building where I'm standing,
standing in. This one is a permanent house. This building here, you can look at it, it has stayed here for so long. Now, it has stayed here when I, 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 I was still in mommy's womb. When I was still young, when I was still a baby, even your mother there you was sitting with, has ever come here and sit in very, this very building. And he sits here and she learns from here. You ask your mother, have you ever seen such a house? Then she will give you the answer. If yes, then that house has spent a lot of time. That's why we say they last for so long. So that one is another answer which says permanent, permanent houses are houses which last for so long, for so long. So let us read. We read with the teacher. Can you read with the teacher? Permanent houses are houses which last for so long. It means this type of house, it can be there for a hundred years, for many years. So these are the answers for permanent houses. Now, this permanent house has also got examples. It has also got examples like the temporary houses. Like the temporary houses. So, we are going to look at the examples of permanent houses. So, I'm going to write here. I'll write there. So, we are going to have the examples of permanent examples of permanent houses examples of permanent permanent houses So, can you read with me? Examples of permanent houses. Everybody? Examples of permanent houses. So, we are going to look at the examples of permanent houses. Now, the first example. The first example. A permanent house has got all the examples are the first one is this one the word is flats everybody flats flats now can we spell the word flats f l a t s flats now with the flats you at home you can look at your house. If you sleep in a flat, put up your hand. Okay. There are those people who sleep in a flat. And even here at school, we have got many flats. We have got the P7 dormitory is a flat. We have got the P6 classes are there on flat. And then the P6 and the main hall, they are 
on the flat. Then another flat is the new building. And that building has a name. Some of you don't know the name. Eh? Who wants to know the name? Who wants to know the name for the building? Okay, some people don't want, so I will tell you. If you want, if you don't want, I'm not going to tell you, but you will know the name. Now, that is a flat. It is your dormitory where you come, when you come to school, is where you always sleep. And more so the primary two class for you to sleep today. So that is a flat. Then the second one. The second example of permanent houses. We have this word here. Who can read it? Ah, the word is bungalow. The word is bungalow. Can you spell the word? B U N G A L. Or W, the word is bungalow. So this word bungalow is a permanent house. Now a bungalow has got many rooms and different activities are done on this house. It is very big. It is very big. So this house has got different partitions. That is a bungalow. And we also third one here. And that third one is called a storage house. That last one is called a storage, storage house. It is called a storage house. Storage house, everybody. Storage house. Let us spell the word storage house. Uh huh. Stored on rim. S T O R Y E D. The word is storage. So we also have storied houses, and these storied houses are commonly they are commonly found in towns. They are commonly found in towns. So when you go to towns, you will find very okay, even in the village, they are there, but they are few. But in towns, you can wherever you, you look, you can see a storage house. They are very many. They are very many there. So storage houses are commonly found in towns. So these are some of the examples of permanent houses. So you've been good. Now let us continue reading through the work that we've done for for today. Now permanent houses. What are permanent houses? Permanent houses are houses built with strong materials. Then the next answer is permanent houses are houses which last for so long. So you choose one, but don't put all the two answers for me. You choose only the answer that you feel you are comfortable with, that you have learned very well that you have mastered very well. It is the one you put for me. So when I give you the activity, you have to put the one that you are sure of. Okay? So the one that is simpler for you. Now, we also have the examples of permanent houses. The first one is flat or flats. If it is one, we call it a Flat. If there are many or there are two, if there are more than two, we call them flats. Another one is bungalow. Another one, the third one is storage house. 
and we said this is these types of uh, examples of permanent houses i say they are commonly found in towns and we said these um, examples of permanent houses they are built with strong materials and we shall look at these materials we use to build these tempera the examples of temporary uh, permanent houses so as for today we shall have the activity here but i want you girls to write very well don't write like cockroaches Cockroaches, they just scratch, 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 scratch the work, the work. So for you, you have to write neatly. You have to write like good children for mommy. Now, I want to do the activity that you are going to get here. And after there, I'm going to sit. And I'm going to give a gift to those people who do my work the best. So thank you for listening. May God bless you. I wish you well.